Now this. When I heard that BlackBerry was going to be on the program today, I thought we'd be talking about phones. I was completely wrong. <laughs> BlackBerry is now a leader in driverless car technology. Who knew? Huh. Joining us now, BlackBerry CEO John Chen. You know, John, you really blew me away with this. I didn't know you got anything to do with driverless cars. <laughs> yeah, most people don't know that because uh, the iconic nature of our phones uh, was so broad that everybody still think of us as a phone company. We do phones by licensing others to do it, our licensing sure. technology. But the more important thing that we focus on are really on cybersecurity, safety, and security and privacy of a car. So, so uh, um, is that what you write and we the are software? A pretty big player are you, in that. Are you your code writers for software that goes into self driving cars? That's now BlackBerry? Yeah, um, it's not only uh, self-driving cars or the autonomous vehicle. It's also um, the connected cars. Uh, we we have about 60 million cars today running on the road that using BlackBerry. Um, the most of all the Fords or the Mercedes, and so um, it, we're embedded into those uh, doing infotainment systems. Uh, doing maps and and <laughs> safety and, well, and, and so cool. you know look I, I'm supposed to know these things John you're really showing me up here I'm supposed to be <laughs> in touch with what's going on at Blackberry and Apple and all these places and this is a total surprise when did you start this complete changeover of Blackberry to doing this uh, interconnected cars and self-driving cars we had actually this technology for a, 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 a quite some time, you know, um, probably I'd say about eight years already. Mm. Uh, it hasn't really wow. been emphasized until about four years ago when I first joined the company. Um, we're now focusing on various components that supply to a car manufacturer. We work directly with the car manufacturer, with the people that provide mm. the chips, with the people, people called the tier one that provide modules for cars. So this is why we're very pervasive in cars. And this, I think the real push was the last four years, but it's been, it's been something that we've done well for a, a much longer period of time. John, uh, FedEx said this morning that when they get this tax cut deal, because it lowers the top rate of corporate tax, they'll get out there and invest more and they'll hire more. Will BlackBerry do the same? Because you're going to get the tax cut. Yeah, um, you know, we, we have a little... A more unique situation. We do have some benefit from that, uh, but not as profound as a, a um, you know completely U.S.-based company. So um, we do have a benefit uh, that will come with it, and we will be investing more. Uh, in regardless whether we have the tax uh, credit or not, we will be investing more uh, anyway because in that. Our business are on the right path right now. Well, John, I do want to say congratulations. That's quite a turnaround job you did there at BlackBerry, and you really uh, put me on the spot <laughs> because I had a clue what you're up to. <laughs> Don't show me up, you, John. Steve. Come on, you want to get on this program? You know, you get out there and uh, you know, tell me what's going on. But we appreciate you being here, John Chen. Good stuff indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank sir. You, appreciate it. Thank you. Now you.